Hi everyone, uh, in this short video, I'm going to talk about another AI builder feature that we have in Power Apps and Microsoft Flow that is about form processing. So uh, I'm going to talk about that. So uh, before that, I should mention I'm logging in my Power Apps account and I'm already access to the 30 days trial uh, for the AI builder. So actually I'm creating an environment that's like this is a trial one and this one because it's a uh, it's an account that is based in Europe or US so I'm able to access and see the AI builder preview and also AI builder preview in power apps and flow is in preview version that means that this can change and uh, so it's not finalized product but it actually is available for you to use and see it. so to do that uh, uh, let's uh, show you the data that I have so I'm going to open the data that I have. Okay, so uh, I'm actually, uh, I'm running a conference here and I'm create some, uh, some forms for the feedback. So I want to ask people about the session title, speaker name, and what they learned from the session. So I'm filling out some of them. So I'm organizing SQL Saturday on 10th of August and I'm going to practice. So I want uh, people in the session that actually fill out some forms and then see what they learn from that. So I'm going to actually analyze this data. So as you see, there are a couple of them. Uh, as you see, I write it in the handwritten and uh, different and the handwritten really is not a really good one. Uh, as you see, so I fill out some of them. So let's see that how it actually work. I want to create a model that able to detect session titles, speaker name, and what you learn and able to kind of extract the data here. So later on, I can use it in other application. So this is my data. I'm back to the power app and here I'm click on AI builder and the build. And under that, you see, I have a couple of different options. I'm going to show you the form processing that actually using the vision, uh, cognitive uh, service vision one. So I need to provide the name. I said uh, form uh, video test something. And as you see, to create this model, your docker need to be in the one of the following format. So uh, the pictures that you provide for training should be in a JPG or PNG and also PDF supported. So I say, yeah, I'm happy with that. I already have the data. Just take a couple of seconds to actually create a form processing model for me. So here you can see the different steps that we have. Analyze documents, select from fields, and train the model. I'm going to add the data that I have. So I'm going to import all of them. This is the image that I have. So for doing that, as you see in the right side, there are some hints. So at least you need to have uh, five pictures. So minimum five pictures. And the size of the all of them shouldn't be more than four gigabytes. So megabytes. So just be careful about that. You see that the size of your document and some process has been explained here. So I'm going to upload the these documents to here so it's able to document I just click on that now i'm going actually it's already selected so i'm going to analyze them so this, this actually is going to analyze and able to find a field uh, and able to recognize the title of the field this, this will take a couple of minutes okay so it's done and i'm able to actually to look at that so it's take a couple of seconds so as you see if i hover my mouse says session title is power bz so actually you see that my eye is not really eye so but it's still really good so 70 percent of that speaker name reza which really perfectly good what you learn power query which is really good so that means that it's able to detect all of them so i i'm angry with all of them so i'm happy to detect these three fields just add it and in the next step i want to train it so i'm happy with that one and i want to train it so it's going to train that with the so as long as as much as form uh, in a that type you have for example instead of 
importing six if i have 10 or 20 differently is able to actually identify better solution and also uh, just make sure that if you want to test it you should have the same format so here it should be exactly the same format of this one so i'm just going to the going to the detail page so is able that recent three fields from there are six documents i'm going to test it so i'm going to upload it just choose one of them and I'll just wait till it's actually able to show me to see that how it actually work so just able you see that not able to detect everything but kind of still really Good. so you can actually use it to create an application so you can uh, publish it so you need to publish it first and then after you publish it you're able to use it in your microsoft power apps so you can back to the power apps and create a canvas for example and if you're going there is opening an environment design so i use the phone layout and here I'm able to consume the model that I actually have there. So I'm able actually to create a model out of that. So here, just skip, click on insert. Under the insert, you will see if you have form processing. So I'm click on that. I'm already, I didn't publish the one that I'm showed you, but I'm already have the same one before. So it's actually become available here so now if i run it is asking me about one of the charts so it's going to kind of detect that one so to show the results so for example is able to detect you want to see it here so you just uh, simply i put some label here so i just put uh, for example one label uh, for the uh, one so i said for example uh, form processing one dot is actually uh, it should be format content dot fields dot for example session title so azure so so you see that is actually you you can or use the data table or gallery to fetch the information so this is for the power apps in microsoft flow also you're able to doing that so in next videos i'm going more deep on that so for example you uh, load some data in your onedrive or other resources and they are some forms and you want to use the ai builder that we created here to analyze them in microsoft flow so in a sequence and for example store the result in excel or other storage thanks so much for watching this short video i hope you enjoy it in future i will more talk about this uh, i just should mention that the handwritten one uh, already in cognitive services we have it for a couple of months but this one in power apps has been added recently which is really great thanks so much and uh, I'm looking forward to create a next video about the AI builder.